Um, okay, so let's just start um, with a little bit of background. You know, who are you? And um, describe what you do for a living. Well, I am uh, 33 years in the industry, um, lending industry, um, as an active originator, producing manager, and uh, very involved in the state association and as well as the national association. Um, run a small team out of Columbus, Ohio, that operates on a mobile platform, uh, reaching um, 17 states that we operate in. Um, and building relationships one-on-one uh, -on -one with our realty partners, uh, utilizing uh, co-branded apps and um, really embracing um, the technology to be able to originate from the point of the cell phone. Love it. How are you managing your customer communications and building realtor relationships prior to pre-approve me? <laughs> um, finding the 25th hour in the day every day to try to manually communicate um, with our agents and, and still have a quality of life. And that's, that's, that was the differential with your platform. And man, we might be 10 years going or, or, or close to it in regards to our relationship, but seeing the ability to uh, scale and um, be in multiple places of the old days of, of doing open houses and agents want you to work the open houses on Sunday and, and you've got seven, 10 other agents that want you to be in the same place. Uh, how can you be, be there for everybody and the ability to go in and um, get an alert and, and a, a share in a, in a application from a client, qualify the client, identify their goals and their, their lending options and capacity and send out the, kind of the uh, pre-approval based on their comforts, but scaling the ability to slide it up and down. Um, and then on that Sunday at three months later down the road, when, when a customer is finding a house at 7.30 at night and you're at home with your family having dinner, you don't have to go grab your laptop to, to modify a pre-approval letter. Uh, the agents, if you train them, can go in and slide and, and, and scale it accordingly, as can the consumer. And that was the game changer. That, that was able to 10X the amount of, of realty relationships you have and, and obviously your volume. So when you implemented it, um, a part of that process is going out there and talking to realtors about the system and training them. How do you guys train your real estate agents to use it? And what is that process like? How, what's that process look like for you guys? You know, I just I just had a meeting this morning at, at eight o'clock this morning with 148 agents that we have a standing meeting every week and that happens to be one real, real estate company but that's the vital part is having weekly meetings and and the turnover with with agents or the 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 addition of of agents on a team they're all going to have the same questions so being able to have a weekly training and and best practices conversation with them and have that recorded that they can have a library to go back and reflect um, that's the best use of your time i mean trying to do it one on one is great and it's and, and up front, it's definitely needed to create that relationship and bond with the agent, uh, with your realty partner. Um, but then you want to scale it within their within their their real estate company or their team. Yeah, that makes so a lot I, of sense. I, so I, I, I just find it to, the quality of your time is going to be best practices. You have a standing time every morning or a couple a couple days in the in the week uh, to just do training. Um, zoom meetings or team meetings or whatever you can do so you find that consistency and like ongoing coaching is an important part of getting those real estate agents to utilize not only our system but in general to build our relationship with you feel comfortable working with you absolutely vital and 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 again it, it's just the ongoing expansion of their knowledge of the industry, the best use of the tool, how to, how to, how to look broad, you know, there, as I tell them, all the agents, you're no longer fishing for clients with hooks, you're fishing with nets. If you start to share the app, uh, it's going to grow organically. It's going to grow vir virally. We just had a client that was 13 months ago, dormant on the app, went into the app and started uh, updating their pre-approval and using their, using their, uh, their mortgage calculator. And yeah, they're back in they're back in the saddle. And guess what? They didn't they lost interaction with their agent. Now they found found it real quick when we reissued the pre-approval letter. Oh, I love that. I mean, that's a big commission check that could have been, you know, 
gone to some some realtor on Zillow if uh, if there wasn't a system in place to notify you and to notify the real estate agent. Well, it gives it gives the real estate and the mortgage a residual effect if you're sharing the app and continuing to nurture the, the clients. I mean, it's 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 basically blending the the ability of the of the insurance industry to have a residual value. Now you've got you're out of that transactional based business because they're constantly sharing and updating. Yep. Love that. Now, this is going to go way back and you may not have an answer for me on this question, but do you remember how you first heard about us? Yeah, I remember sitting in my Dayton office with uh, the, the guys in Dayton and watching watching a loan officer assistant take instructions from a loan officer and go to your dashboard and issuing a pre-approval dashboard that they've already had in their Encompass system, or I think it was Encompass, and they're manually entering it. And I'm like, why can't you just integrate this together into the POS system, which you did and and, and mastered? And then we wanted to further that by going into the mobile platform. So yes, I do remember that day. Oh, that's fun. Um, and so can you describe from like that point to now, what has it been like to work with our team? Uh, second to none in regards to relationship, communication, attentiveness, and just responsiveness. I mean, the bottom line is, um, you know, you can go, you don't have a trouble ticket that you have to put in a trouble ticket and wait days for it to be responded to. You have an action in regards to you and or your team. And, and in the most cases, you um, responding right away to let us know that it's being serviced. Um, so it's second to none on the top, on, on the service levels. And I, as you know, transitioning to with a new partnership, um, I relayed that to them as well. You know, the bottom line is this is a 10, 11 year relationship that has been flawless in regards to service levels. Why would um, anybody watching this want to take action now versus waiting on rolling out a product like ours? I can't conceivably understand why you would wait. Um, if you start now, um, you are organically growing a database that is that is interactive. We started our the mobilization of our piece with 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 pre approve me um, four and a half years ago. There's over fifty thousand interactions on 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 our app and twenty three hundred of our digital mobile cards that we've built. That's one one user. That's just my app as one originator. Um, so the, the, the sooner you start, the sooner you start to build, the, the sooner it starts to spread and those relationships start to grow. And, and the agents, um, again, will find, as you will find, you just can't operate and originate without it. Yeah, and this is great. Thank you so much. Um, if somebody wants to learn um, more about you or get in touch with you, where can they find you? Uh, they can find me at the NAM.org website. Uh, I am on the board of directors with NAM. Uh, they can contact me at uh, mferrell at totalchoicemtg.com, um, or they can reach out to you and, and get my contact information. I'd be happy to talk to anybody. That is true. Michael, thanks so much again for your time. It's been great chatting with you, and uh, we'll talk soon. Always, my friend. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Take care.